This approximately 15-minute video introduces you to 11 English words from 1100 Words You Need to Know by Murray Bromberg and Melvin Gordon, a top resource for expanding your vocabulary. The aim is to enrich your word choices. But this video isn't just about definitions or usage. My colleagues and I will share some cool techniques to help you remember these words. So whether you're commuting, taking a break, or have a few spare moments, you can watch this video and make the most of your time by improving your English vocabulary. At the end of the video, you'll hear a short story from the book, featuring all the words we've discussed. So, stay tuned until the end and see if you can understand the story. The word for today is affluent. Affluent is an adjective. Affluent means having a lot of money or wealth. For example, as a powerful mother, outspoken artist and affluent businesswoman, Beyonce is surely a feminist success story. As a powerful mother, outspoken artist and affluent businesswoman, Beyonce is surely a feminist success story. Any tricks to remember this word? Think of affluent as affluent. Affluent. Imagine a rich person who is so wealthy that they can fluently speak many languages because they can afford the best tutors and travel the world. Affluent, affluent, affluent. The word for today is feasible. Feasible is an adjective. Feasible means something can be done or achieved. It is practical and possible to accomplish. For example, but these planets are so far away that sending spacecraft to investigate them will not be feasible for many generations. But these planets are so far away that sending spacecraft to investigate them will not be feasible for many generations. Any tricks to remember this word? To remember the word feasible, think of feasible as feasible. Feasible. If something is able to be paid for with fees, it's possible or doable. Feasible. 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 The word for today is discern. Discern is a verb. Discern means to see, recognize, or understand something that is not clear. For example, it is difficult to discern any pattern in these figures. It is difficult to discern any pattern in these figures. Any tricks to remember this word? To remember the word discern, break it down into discern. Think of dis as discover and cern as certain. So when you discern something, you are discovering or figuring out what is certain or true. Imagine a detective trying to discover the truth by carefully examining all the clues. This way, discern means to figure out or recognize something clearly. Discern, discern, discern. The word for today is Sally. Sally is both a verb and a noun. Sally means a sudden attack on an enemy, especially when they are surrounding you. For example, when they had all put on their armor, they opened the gate and sallied forth, Ulysses leading the way. They capture insects by gleaning as well as by aerial sallying. Any tricks to remember this word? To remember the word sally, think of it as similar to sprint. Imagine someone named Sally who loves to sprint out suddenly for fun or adventure. This can help you recall that Sally means a sudden quick movement. Sally, Sally, Sally. The word for today is consternation. Consternation is the noun. Consternation means a feeling of worry, shock, or confusion. For example, the prospect of so much work filled him with consternation. To his consternation, when he got to the airport, he found he'd forgotten his passport. Any tricks to remember this word? To remember consternation. Think of consternation. Con as a liar or con artist. And star as a famous person. So imagine a country full of famous liars, causing shock and confusion. This helps you recall that consternation means a feeling of shock, surprise, and confusion. Consternation. 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 Now let's read a short story that uses all the words we've learned today to see if you understand the story's meaning. <coughs> Newspaper Umbrella. Our neighbor is an affluent inventor whose latest brainstorm, a feasible umbrella substitute, has been featured in many magazines. As simply as the eye can discern, it is a hard plastic strip, about the size of a ruler, 
which fits comfortably into a woman's handbag or a man's suit jacket. If a person is caught in a sudden rainstorm, he swings the plastic open in the shape of a cross. Attached to each arm is a clip-like device. Next, he takes the newspaper he is carrying and slides it under each of the four clips. Now, equipped with a rigid head covering, he can sally forth to face the elements. To the consternation of the umbrella manufacturers, it has been enjoying a brisk sale, especially among commuters. If it continues to do well, it could have a pernicious effect upon the umbrella industry. Okay, now I'll explain the short story again using simpler words. Our neighbor is a wealthy inventor whose latest idea, a practical umbrella replacement, has been featured in many magazines. It's easy to see that it's a hard plastic strip, about the size of a ruler, that fits easily into a woman's handbag or a man's suit jacket. If someone gets caught in a sudden rainstorm, they can open the plastic strip into a cross shape. Each arm has a clip. The person can then take their newspaper and slide it under each of the four clips. Now, with a firm head covering, they can bravely step out into the rain. To the surprise of umbrella makers, this invention is selling well, especially among commuters. If it keeps doing well, it could seriously affect the umbrella industry. Now, let's move on to the next six words. There will also be a short story after the explanation of these words. The word for today is precocious. Precocious is an adjective. Precocious means a child who is very smart or talented for their age, showing intelligence or skill at a very young age, or behaving in an adult way. For example, from an early age, she displayed a precocious talent for music. From an early age, she displayed a precocious talent for music. Any tricks to remember this word? To remember precocious, think of pre as before and cautious similar to conscious. So, precocious can mean conscious or aware before their time. Precocious, precocious, precocious. The word for today is perfunctory. Perfunctory is an adjective. A perfunctory action is done quickly and is only done because people expect it. For example, she gave him a perfunctory smile. She gave him a perfunctory smile. Any tricks to remember this word? To remember perfunctory, use the prefix per, which means through or thoroughly, combined with function, which is similar to a task. So, perfunctory means just for going through the task quickly and without much care. Perfunctory, perfunctory, perfunctory. The word for today is perpendicular. Perpendicular is a noun. Perpendicular means two lines or surfaces meeting at a right angle, like the corner of a square or the way a wall meets the floor. For example, the wall was leaning at an angle of 10 degrees to the perpendicular. The wall was leaning at an angle of 10 degrees to the perpendicular. Any tricks to remember this word? We can use the word breakdown method to remember perpendicular. Per as a prefix means through, and pend comes from a Latin root relating to hang. The ending dicular sounds like particular. Imagine something hanging straight down, forming a particular right angle. This helps recall that perpendicular describes lines that meet at a perfect 90 degree angle. Perpendicular, perpendicular, perpendicular. The word for today is chagrin. Chagrin is a noun. Chagrin means feeling embarrassed or annoyed because something didn't go as planned. It's that uncomfortable mix of disappointment and frustration. The word chagrin is more commonly found in written English, such as in books, articles. For example, my children have never shown an interest in music, much to my chagrin. My children have never shown an interest in music, much to my chagrin. Any tricks to remember this word? To remember chagrin, think of the phrase shabby grin. Shabby grin. Imagine someone with a shabby, awkward grin on their face because they feel embarrassed or frustrated about something that went wrong. This association of a shabby grin with the feelings of chagrin can help you recall the word's meaning. Chagrin, chagrin, chagrin. The word for today is perverse. Perverse is an adjective. 
Perverse means doing things in a way that is stubbornly wrong or unreasonable, often on purpose, even though it might cause problems. The word perverse is more likely to be found in writing or formal contexts. For example, people in Minneapolis take a perverse pride in how cold their winters are. People in Minneapolis take a perverse pride in how cold their winters are. Any tricks to remember this word? To remember perverse, we can use the word breakdown method. Per, as a prefix meaning thoroughly or completely. And verse, which sounds like reverse. Think of perverse as someone who is thoroughly reversing or going against what is normal or expected. This breakdown helps you recall that perverse means stubbornly doing the opposite of what is reasonable or acceptable. Perverse, perverse, perverse. The word for today is deride. Deride is a verb. Deride means to mock or make fun of someone in a mean or scornful way. The word deride is more likely to be found in writing or formal contexts. For example, this building, once derided by critics, is now a major tourist attraction. This building, once derided by critics, is now a major tourist attraction. Any tricks to remember this word? To remember deride, break it down to da, meaning down or away, and ride. Picture someone mocking a friend who is riding a bicycle by taking away his joy or bringing him down with mean comments. This association can help you recall that deride means to mock or ridicule. Deride, deride, deride. Now let's read a short story that uses all the words we've learned today to see if you understand the story's meaning. Patent pending. My kid brother, Vern, a precocious teenage automotive wizard, and I were inspired to do some inventing on our own. We thought it might be feasible to park a car parallel to a space on the street. Then by pressing a button we could raise the four tires off the ground slightly, while dropping two special wheels perpendicular to the curb. It would then be child's play to roll into the narrowest of parking spaces. We took the idea to Ed Green who runs the Ford agency in order to elicit his reaction. After a perfunctory glance at our plans, to our chagrin, Ed snorted that our idea was inane, but we decided that he was just jealous of our brilliance. Tomorrow we are going to start on a computer that will enable us to measure the intelligence of perverse car dealers who like to deride the efforts of junior geniuses. Okay, now I'll explain the short story again using simpler words. My little brother Vern, a smart teenage car expert, and I decided to try inventing something ourselves. We thought it might be possible to park a car parallel to a space on the street. Then by pressing a button, we could lift the four tires slightly off the ground while lowering two special wheels at a right angle to the curb. It would then be easy to roll into even the smallest parking spaces. We took the idea to Ed Green, who runs the Ford dealership, to get his feedback. After a quick look at our plans, to our disappointment, Ed laughed and said our idea was silly, but we thought he was just jealous of our brilliance. Tomorrow, we're going to start working on a computer that will help us measure the intelligence of stubborn car dealers who like to mock the efforts of young geniuses. Did you catch that? We've covered some challenging words today and used them in a fun story. I hope these tips help you remember and use them easily. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more word learning fun. See you in the next video.